For more than 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter in our community. From our studios in St. Clair, you're watching Focus with Paul Dingaman. Well, welcome back. We are here with three fine ladies who are going to talk to us about everything that's going on in Marine City, Michigan. Down at the end of the table, Miss, what's your name? Smith. <laughs> no, 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 that's Smith's over here. Hi. Kathy Burton, the owner of the Inn on Water Street. Yes. Wonderful, exciting thing we want to talk about. And the Riverbank Theater and the Snug Theater, and you brought along a new intern by yeah. the name of Hannah Beecher. Nice mm -hmm. to meet you. Nice to Welcome meet you to too. the Focus Set. Thank you. And Brittany Smith down here, the artistic director of Riverbank and the director of The Nerd. Yes, that's right. Ladies, next show. what's going on in Marine City? It's just busy, busy, busy. We like it that way. Yes. <laughs> yes. We like to see that. Let's talk first about the progress of the Inn on Water Street, the anticipation. It's is exciting. I know. We actually we had uh, our daughter Valerie's birthday party there last weekend, so that was kind of a trial run, and Ooh. it went very well. So Wonderful. We're, we're getting ready. We're looking at a soft opening on April seventh. Okay, and just around gonna, the corner. Yeah, we're going to do the big ribbon cutting on May fourth. Okay, very so, good. Yeah. You have a restaurant there too. We do. The restaurant is the Inn Kitchen. All right. Uh, you're probably familiar with Kristen Bain from the Harsons Island School. Great Hospital. lady. Great restaurant. Yes, and she's leading that uh, initiative for us. She's got a great team of chefs, and they did a fine job last Saturday for us, so we're really looking forward to getting that open and getting people in there. The restaurant is located where? It's Well, it's on the first floor okay. of the hotel. Okay. It's in the hotel, but we also have a screened porch outside okay. the hotel, so we can see about oh. 50 out on the screened porch because, you know, the view is so yeah. phenomenal. And she's going with a very kind of rustic farmhouse cuisine, Everything, you know, she's really big on sourcing her food locally whenever possible. She loves the organic farm-to-table style of cooking. And right. we're looking at having a menu with some really hearty um, bone-in pork, pork chop Ooh, like and that. a really nice ribeye steak. And, you know, she's just got a great menu. Got nice ahi tuna and, oh, and her duck breast is to die for. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, isn't there a spectacular uh, beam in there or a table or something? There is. We, we actually repurposed a lot of the treasures we found in the Terre Haute building. Okay. There were beams in that building holding the building up, literally. And these beams, we talked to all the you know, local historians and actually found the story behind them. They, there was a contract with McClough Shipyard back okay. in World War I right. right for, mm -hmm, for 10 tugboats. And oh. each of those tugboats needed a 65-foot keel. Well, the contract got canceled when the war ended, and they were stuck with all these tugboat keels. Oh. And we found four of them up in the facility at Terre Haute holding up the building, and we repurposed every one of them. One is over the fireplace, one's hanging from the ceiling with Edison light bulbs Marvelous. over a dining table that my husband, he took one home, and he ripped that beam into planks and made a beautiful 14-foot-long farmhouse table. Oh, marvelous. That sits underneath the beam. And then the porch is encircled with those beams holding up the porch. You know, we used them in the structure. It's just, it's what so cool great, to have that. great thing. That's just super. And then at Terhoon's big barn doors, yeah. I mean, they're, each door is four feet wide, and they were the showroom doors that you'd open up, and they're like barn doors. Yeah. Well, we hung them in the dining room as barn doors that open to the room with this lovely table, and we call it the Terhoon room. All right, I love it. <laughs> so, well, that, that, it's yeah. important. It was a name that was in Marine oh, City yeah. forever. He's a great guy. And he's a great guy. And he used to sit in that front window and watch the yep. watch the boats go by. Now the public can do that. That's right. And that's right. That'll that'll just be great. Yeah. Soft opening in the beginning part of April. Yep. Grand opening in May. And then uh, let's go summer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one final couple final questions about the 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 hotel. Twenty some rooms. Twenty six rooms. Twenty six rooms. And over two thirds have balconies. Okay. So they're facing, we really made use of the space, that corner space where, you know, so many of the rooms have a view. Yep. And uh, there's, and for the rooms in the back, I think there's seven rooms that don't have a view, but we've got this beautiful, right at the corner, right at the mm -hmm. corner of mm -hmm. Bridge and Water Street, we have this beautiful sunroom with a great big um, window that looks out on the river. And we've got ship's binoculars in that room, and you can literally Wonderful. see into the pilot house. Oh so my it's a God. great room to just hang out in, and you can either you know, sit and drink a cup of coffee, watch the freighters go by, work on your computer. It's 
just a nice community space for the guests at the hotel. Well, I'm only one person, but thank you for what you're doing for oh, Queen City. Sweet. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a labor of love for you and Tom, but uh, it's certainly going to benefit the whole community, and well, we thanks. wish you all the success in the world. Well, thank you. Thanks for supporting us. Let's, uh, let's get to the, to the play of, of the day mm -hmm. from uh, April the 6th through April the 29th. Yep. There's a play called, uh, it's close to everybody in this building here, The Nerd. Because that's <laughs> yes. what we have around here, a bunch <laughs> of nerds that love uh, digital stuff. And, yeah. and talk to me about the play. Yeah. What is the play? So it's called The Nerd. It's by Larry Shu. He also wrote The Foreigner that we did a couple years ago. That was a big hit. Um, it's a very funny show. It's about um, seven characters, so a small group. It's at the Snug. It takes place in the late 70s. And the gist is um, the main character, his name's Willem, he has promised his army buddy that if he needs anything in life, he saved, he saved his life. So he's, you know. Indebted said, to him yes, forever. He, <laughs> he, he owes him his life, so he'll, you know, do whatever he can for him. Well, he shows up at his house, and um, as the play goes on, you realize he has no intention of leaving. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> yes. He's so, going to be living in the basement. Yeah, well, on the couch. On yeah, the couch. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, it's very funny. The, the nerd, he, that character just kind of pushes all of Willem's buttons to see how far he can go with it. So um, it's wacky. It's funny. This is funny. not a musical. Nope, it's a straight play. Straight play. Yep. And it is at the snug. Yep. Okay. So limited uh, seating to about uh, 90 seats or something? There are 98 seats 98 at the seats. snug. Yep. So but we're running tickets. four weekends, four so weekends. yeah, grab your tickets. Okay. Uh, and you are the director of this play? Yes. Great. Yep. Have you done a lot of uh, regular straight dramas, or is you more of a musical person? I like them both. I like okay. them both. I like to direct some of the small, quirky comedies. So Brett's a kind of genius. <laughs> she just recently directed Moon Over Buffalo for us, which was hilarious. Yeah. She can find humor in things that, like... <laughs> That's funny. How'd you, find, <laughs> how'd you figure that out? <laughs> and this script is just so good, so I think people will enjoy it. <coughs> Hannah, tell me about joining this group as an intern. Oh. <laughs> Where are you from? Are, are you in, in school now? Uh, I'm taking a gap semester. I'm actually from Roanoke, Virginia. Really? Yeah. Um, so I found out about the theater through my aunt and uncle and got in talk, uh, contact with Brittany and Aaron. And I'm here. Here you are. We yeah. have, here you are. Yes, we have put her to work. Um, she did Come costumes one, yeah. for Susical. She's running the tech board for the nerd, so mm -hmm. she's getting yeah. <laughs> thrown You're in there. You're just getting yeah. your feet yeah. and your bet and your hands and your arms and legs <laughs> oh, and everything. I'm all in, and yeah. You jumped in. <laughs> I saw her jump behind a sewing machine, and I'm like, I love this girl. <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep her here forever. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So do you, you hope to stay in the, the world of theater? I uh, do, yes. In the fall, I will be attending a school in Pennsylvania to study theater. So, yeah. Okay. Are you what? Are you out of high school? Are you in college? Or where? I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of my college career right now. Okay. So, yeah. Great. Well, exciting time. Mm -hmm. One exciting. of the things we like to do is to bring an intern in, and we don't just abuse them. We actually right. <laughs> want them to get exposed to theater beyond the stage. There's a lot more to it. Mm -hmm. The costuming, yep. the stage um, build, set build. You know, just yeah. every element of it. The marketing. Okay. So we try to expose yep. them to all of the elements of theater and then in return you know she's had the benefit of Aaron and Britt giving some coaching for auditions mm -hmm. and helping get audition material together and it's just something that we seek to do if we can do that with a student throughout the year then kind of a it works for us and it works for them. <laughs> You're here at an exciting time with I the am, hotel yeah. opening and uh, the, the plays that they've got going all summer long it's just going to be great. When, when, would you, when do you leave? September? Oh, uh, okay. actually, I leave, I leave May 21st, the day after the next Titanic. musical, Titanic, closes. So. Okay. Yep. And I hear great things about Titanic. Yeah. It's That's really, it, I, it's I mean, it's just going to be beautiful. Yeah. The music. Beautiful yeah. music. Everyone great knows cast. the story, Titanic but great cast. May 4th. May 4th. Mm -hmm. And runs five weeks, four weeks? It oh. runs through the 20th. Through the 20th. Three weeks. We're adding mm -hmm. some Wednesdays and Thursdays to that. Oh as well though because I yeah, think I've the demand will be high. Great things about it already. So mm -hmm. all right, so the nerd starts the sixth of April, April through the 29th yep. at the Snug. Uh, the hotel is April 
Uh, yeah, uh, April seven. <laughs> soft opening, and then. Uh, but you, you, can I rent rooms immediately? Yes, April seventh. We can absolutely bring all your <laughs> friends and rent them all. <laughs> That's wonderful. And yeah. the restaurant is going to be opening, and it's just going to be a great yeah, summer. I think so. Can I talk a, just a real quick? I want you to take as much time. Performing as well. Arts Academy. Yes, let's talk it's about that. It's been going that. very well, and sure. you know that's that's why Aaron Smith can't be here. We just keep him working on that Performing <laughs> Arts Academy. You know. so um, what's happening there? April, May, we're doing enrollment right now. We've oh, got okay. our, of course, our snug bugs and you know the programs for the young kids. We've also got this time we're doing a master class, an adult master class. And part of the reason, and I wanted to bring it up, is we have a lot of talent in the area. People kind of like myself who did a lot of theater when we were younger and then you got busy with life and, mm -hmm. and business mm -hmm. and then had an opportunity to come back to it when things slowed down a little, right. which is what got me back involved in, in theater in the early 2000s. And some of us, you know, we could hone our skills a little. We've been away from it for a while right. and, and it doesn't hurt to, to actually take the time to take a master class, bone up on your skills and and I think that if we could encourage some of the local community members who have been in our shows or auditioned for our shows to take that class, I, th I think it'll be just terrific. You get away from it, you forget things. That's right, mm -hmm. that's absolutely correct. And there isn't the time, when you're in a production, you don't have the time to really tw tweak your personal skills. You tweak the character. You work with the person on the character they're portraying. But you know, think of what you could get out of a master class by going in and, and just learning a monologue, learning how to audition properly. So I'm kind of encouraging the adults who want to be involved in theater, take this class, you know, get okay, in there. Okay, so the class, that cl the adult class is going to be when? April and May. It's okay. part of it's part of our um, academy. academy season. <coughs> it's part of the academy portfolio. And they can go online right now and That's take right. a look at it. But yeah. Online and mm -hmm. you'll find out about the academy and mm -hmm. the children's programs too? Yes. Yeah. Where are those uh, academy cl classes going to be held? It's at, at Riverbank. River mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. And Britt's teaching um, uh, what's it called? a Broadway tap, tap class. Mm -hmm. um, we've got 25 openings. We've got 20 kids signed up so far, so mm -hmm. there's a couple more spots left. Um, there's a Snug Bugs class for the young ones. We call them River Rats for the um, right. kind of middle yeah. school age. And then um, high school students are also encouraged to take um, the master, master class classes. Well. So okay. offerings for everybody. Mm -hmm. well, wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Well, Brittany, thank you. Seat. Welcome to Michigan. <laughs> thank you. You can take the snow with you. When you <laughs> yeah, I think I want to leave it up here. Thanks okay. for having us back again. We appreciate oh, anytime, this a lot. Anytime. You, you uh, guys have got an exciting summer coming up for uh, the Riverbank and the, the Inn on, wa the, uh, Inn on Water Street. Street. Yeah. We'll be back in just a second. We're glad you're back to the Focus program. Nice to see you. We are here with a, a couple fine ladies, and they're going to talk to us about a great organization that's doing a lot of things in Marine City. You're going to do a lot more things with your support. Uh, the Friends of City Hall, Becky Lepley, Judy White. Nice to see you both. Welcome nice back to, see to you, the Focus Paul. set. You guys always have some fun and some information for us about what's going on with that iconic beautiful building of yours Indeed in downtown do. yeah. marine city yeah. what what's happening well uh, we have worked out with the city we have leased the building oh okay uh, for 10 years all right and uh, uh with a lease we are able to go after money that a municipality can not go after okay so this opens up a whole world of grants and we're jumping right in we raised the money to fix the grand staircase and now really they got the staircase you got that raised already we, we got that mm -hmm. raised and wow. um we went to visit howell mm -hmm. has an opera house right downtown in howell uh it's not near as nice as ours but, <laughs> don't tell them that. but um, you're not prejudiced at all not at all <laughs> not in the least we thought that they had completed their restoration because they made almost a hundred thousand dollars last year by running out for different uh events but they haven't what they did was they took the first floor and they got it up to muster so that they can have events and have people in there, you know, correct bathroom and, and, and safety and so forth and so on. And people are coming in there and they have their event or whatever and then they go 
up into the opera house, which is on the second floor, and get their pictures taken, weddings and okay. whatever. Uh, they have a connection with a local chapel in town and, and churches and, and so forth and so on, and they can't keep up with it. We've also found out through talking to the people at Perch Point and some other places that there's a real market for uh, nice uh, uh, destination, interesting backdrops for events, whether okay. people are getting married or having a celebration or a birthday party or a, a shower of some kind. And what we have now on that first floor um, is down to the brick walls, uh, um, re, you know, redoing the floors and just getting that first floor ready so that we can use it for events and have it available to the public. I mean, this is uh, Marine City's building and mm -hmm. the community will have the use of it. Uh, and if you live in Marine City, you get a little better uh, price range than you do if you're well, coming in from out of town. Do that with rec department programs oh, and stuff like exactly. that. Oh, so exactly. That's, that's not, a, that's yeah, not I, unusual. We have the bandstand there. We can have weddings there. We're across the street from uh, what used to be a, a church and uh, hope to have a chaplain there and coordinate with the rest of the city. You know, we have a hotel now. Uh, we have a banquet center. Uh, we want to be able to coordinate so that Marine City can offer a complete package. And then meanwhile, uh, and, and Judy White has uh, uh, learned more about grant writing than she ever wanted to know and working with uh, the uh, TIFA grant writer. And uh, she uh, uh, is going after money. Uh, we have applied to the Community Foundation, St. Clair County Community Foundation, and some other ones. What are some of the other ones you're working on? Well, um, in addition to Community Foundation, uh, USA Today and Gannett Corporation are offering uh, rather large grants to communities for um, this kind of uh, restoration and you okay. know, community mm -hmm. service. What we discovered, of course, is in order to occupy the building, we have to install a fire suppression system. That's step one. So you can't have a guy with a bucket at the bottom of the stairs? Uh -uh. Well, it wouldn't That's, uh, that's it. ruled out. No, ruled out. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it has to be a modern, up-to-date system. They're very expensive. Oh, yes. And as uh, step one to raising the money for this, we have organized a fundraising dinner at Riviera Restaurant, April 24, okay. uh, 4 to 8 p.m. Angelo Petsalas has been wonderful he does great us. things for yeah, the yeah, community he's, he's a treasure for the community yeah. he really is uh the dinner will be baked chicken potatoes vegetables oh. coleslaw and lots of desserts cakes brownies cookies cookies and a fresh fruit compote um beverages yep. oh my god that's yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. great. With a soft beverage, uh, it's going to be a cash bar. Yeah. Uh, kids prices seven bucks. Okay. So it's a deal, but we get a percentage of that, and we're going to have raffle baskets. We're doing like a silent auction. There'll be some really really nice stuff set out, mm -hmm. um, and people can you know bid on it. So it's the twenty fourth from four to eight. Right. And I don't have to have reservations or anything, but... No. No. And we're selling tickets We'll find a place door. for you. Yeah. <laughs> so just show yeah. up. Yeah. And yeah. so that's, that's one thing that we're doing. Um, the Gannett and USA Today is offered online. Um, USA Today has a particular hoop that you have to jump through to qualify for their big money. Okay. And that is to demonstrate that you can raise money online. And they set a limit of $3,000. That's doable. I think so. Right. And it's through CrowdRise. Okay. So you can consult that by going to CrowdRise.com and you search Be a Friend of City Hall. Okay, Dalton's getting that for us. There we go. CrowdRise, Be a Friend of City Hall. Yes. And Crowdwise is a new one. I, I've heard of the other ones. Crowdwise is based in Detroit, and it is actually owned and operated by GoFundMe. GoFundMe. Yeah. But this is for 501c3s. This is for charities, uh, and rather than for individual uh, cases or issues. So put that up for me then. <laughs> for charity. There you go. So, so as we speak. We are at 1,400 and I think it's $52. Good. So we're just a 
hair from the halfway mark. So uh, you're going to get to the 3,000, then what happens? Then we qualify with USA Today for their big money, which could raise, could, could range from 25,000 to 100,000. I like it. Yeah. Gannett, um, we've submitted the application. They, there were no other hoops but the application. So we have those three out, and there are three more that we're going to go for. Mm -hmm. So we'll try this sign one more time, crowd-wise, and, and be, be a friend of... Be a friend of City Hall. Be a friend of City Hall. We're getting that. One moment, please, as they say in TV. There you go. <laughs> crowd-wise, be a friend of City Hall. Okay. This is the original digital graphic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the, you got some things happening. We do. Um, we have this for sale as well, and this is a tote bag mm -hmm. that says... I like this. It's a nice tote bag. It is a nice yeah. tote bag. It's spacious and strong. Nice material. Strong. Nice material. Yeah, and we're, we're putting together a gift shop that's going to be on that first floor, uh, and these uh, things will be available. And we have sent all of our members, we've got uh, around 200 members, on their vacations, they're all going to bring us back something for the gift shop that okay. we can sale, sell, and so we can uh, build up our... Uh, inventory. Seashells uh, from Florida. Right. It, whatever we've, we've got. And we're going to have some of these copper bracelets that have been purchased for us. And, and just a whole bunch of things that really okay. uh, we're excited about that Good. too. Good. And we're anxious for everybody to see that grand staircase restored. So Good. we're. What else we got? That's happening. 24th, 4 to 8, Riviera. Riviera. Great food. Yes. 10 bucks. Oh, yes. one other thing. Take two. Pearson Gibbs who is over on, on Gratiot, uh, just north of Richmond. It's a building company. And they have donated to us at least 12, maybe more, chandeliers as they bring in the new one. And some of them are amazing. One is as tall as I am. One of them has wow. nine, nine different 100-watt bulbs in it. Are these uh, old or new? Uh, no, they're brand new. Uh, but they have, a new, they have the new ones coming in, and these were their... Uh, models okay and so that they donated them to us and uh i mean they're they're amazing and you're going to do what we're, we're going to uh we're going to have some of them there at the dinner uh and have them uh you know uh chinese auction have oh okay, sign up okay. For them and you're so forth and so on yeah because they were donated oh to that's us. wonderful okay all righty all else kinds there? of good stuff all kinds of good stuff yeah. Yeah. but the, all we need uh, to do is get that website. ferry running that's right. I'll go to the website, which is <laughs> friendsofcityhall.com, Friends of yes. and you'll get all the other details you need. Yeah, we're on our Facebook as well. Okay, very good. Ladies, thanks. Keep up Thank your you, good work. Thank you, sir. Thank you. There's your famous sign, fire sale, and there's my famous face. We'll be right back. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for watching Focus with Paul Dingaman. Focus is produced at the CTV Community Television Studios in St. Clair. For over 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter to our community.